Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eve here. Today I continue with my decluttering series and we're gonna go into my foundation drawers. Today's video, I think I'm just gonna um, tackle uh, my foundation drawers from Durac store, which is uh, right over here. And we're gonna go one by one and um, tackle every single product that's here. And um, I would like to do some declutter and probably put some uh, things into project Pan. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Eve. I love all things beauty, skincare, makeup, a lifestyle, and a fashion. And I would love you to subscribe before you leave today. And without any further ado, let's get into my drugstore uh, foundations collection and declutter. You know, I store all my makeup in this nine drawer Alex unit. As you can see, I have a lot of foundations here, and uh, we're gonna go one by one, product by product. I do have this little bin here, and uh, we're gonna use to uh, put a product in the project pan if it comes down to that so let's go ahead and start from uh, this first product right here this is a covergirl outlast extreme wear three-in-one foundation this is a full coverage foundation it also has an spf 18 in it and uh, mine comes in the shade 810 classic ivory this is a newer foundation that was just recently um uh, launched and it has a pump it's a glass bottle i have tested it already i haven't done a full review on camera yet which i am planning to do and um i have really like this foundation so far it's really really good definitely keeping it so my next foundation is also by CoverGirl. This is a clean a matte BB cream. It's specially made for oily skin. And mine is in the shade 510 Fair. This is a repurchased item uh, many, many times from you guys. If you watched my uh, channel or any of my videos recently, you know I've mentioned it so many times. So I believe this is my third tube. And I uh, gave a one tube boy to my sister. She also loved it. I just think this is like a nice light formula, but also gives you like a really nice coverage. It wears really well and um, it says it's a made for oily skin types. So this is just a match made in heaven for my skin. I'm definitely going to be using this for summer season for sure. The next foundation is by Milani. It's called Screen Queen, a natural finish foundation, and uh, mine is in the shade 180 Warm Shell. I've mentioned this foundation in uh, my full face of Milani uh, makeup, and I told you guys that this um, uh, shade range uh, for this foundation is a little bit strange because this is a warm shell. I'm never warm. I'm uh, natural or neutral, rather, or cool undertone, depending on the range of... Um, the shades of what a brand offers and uh, however this is my really really good match i do like the quality of this foundation i like how it looks on my skin and i like how it wears i have heard um some uh, very mixed uh, reviews on this product some people either hated it or loved it i happen to really like it a lot um i do like the packaging oh my god it's so dirty i apologize but it is a pump um and it is a glass bottle the cap is kind of cheap looking a little bit but I really enjoy this foundation as you can uh, see like how much I've used. Uh, this is a foundation that sets itself. It doesn't need to be powdered and this is a definite benefit for a warmer season. I see myself using this um, a foundation in uh, summer for sure. This next product is by Wet n Wild. This is a tinted hydrator. Mine is in the shade... I believe it says fair. Yes, it is. And um, this has hyaluronic acid and squalane in it. It says it's oil free and it's sheer to medium coverage. I will be honest with you guys. I was planning to do a separate video on uh, testing uh, this foundation to like a um, uh, demonstration and wear test. However, when I first tried it on my own, I realized how... <laughs> Had this foundation looks on me not that it is about quality it is just so hydrating it literally looks like you have water on your face it just gives you like such a wet look on my oily combination skin it's just not working for me I want to say that I could still use it and keep it around and just use it around the house on the days that I don't have to do much and um, just heavily powder this product. But it kind of defeats the whole entire purpose because it is supposed to be that 
very light, very comfortable, hydrating uh, tint for your skin. This is a very new product to my collection. I will keep it around for right now. I might use it just maybe on my body. I don't know. I will, I will see how I can use it for now. I don't want to get rid of it because it's very, very new. I still want to give it a shot, see if I could possibly like it a little bit better somehow or figure out the way to use it on my skin. But so far, I know that it is just so, so, so hydrating that it specifically for my skin type, I did not enjoy it that much. I picked up the Pretty Fresh foundation from ColourPop. This foundation also has hyaluronic acid in it. Mine is in the shade uh, Fair 30N. And I have to say that I love this formula. I recently picked uh, this foundation up. Um, I talked about this uh, product in my Ulta unboxing haul recently. That uh, video is already up on my channel. I'll have it linked for you here for you to catch up if you haven't uh, watched it. I purchased so many items and this was a part of the haul. I really, really enjoy this. I also picked up the concealer and the setting mist. I love all those products. I just um, think that why did I wait for so long to try this product? This is fantastic light formula. It gives you a really nice coverage. It wears very comfortably throughout the day. I definitely need to powder it because it is still a hydrating product, but the formula is so, so, so nice, even for my combination oily skin. This next product is uh, the Coverage Foundation by The Ordinary Brand. Uh, mine is in the shade 1.2N. I have talked about this foundation in my monthly favorites in my previous videos, and I really like it. I want to show it to you together with the other kind. This is also by The Ordinary, and if you can see, they are absolutely identical packaging. However, this is a coverage foundation, and this is the serum foundations. They are really different formulas. So the coverage foundation, it doesn't say it is full coverage or medium coverage. It says it's high coverage foundation. And in the serum foundation, it's a lightweight serum formula. So they're very, very different formulas. Their coverage foundation is very light weight however it gives you coverage and it is also buildable i love this formula i wear it a lot i think i gave this foundation a break a little bit because i was using it non-stop i'm definitely keeping this one and i would want to say more that if i ran out of it i would be interested to repurchase i like it that much uh the serum foundation i have in the shade 1.1 and this formula is so watery and it is so light and it just looks wet on my skin. I feel like somebody with a drier skin type or like very dry skin would like this for sure. It does give you a nice coverage. It's very, very light formula. However, it is very hydrating. So for my skin type, it just does not work. So I am gonna keep it. Similar with this tinted hydrator, like I want to give it a shot, but I do want to put these two products in a project pan and just have them handy and start using them a little bit more. And then if I don't, then I will have to pass them along. This foundation is also by CoverGirl. This is a True Blend Matte Foundation. It says it's a comfort matte foundation. I had mine in the shade L20. This is a very old foundation in my collection. It's kind of the same like this um, one with the red cap. You guys see that I've used a half of it. I've had this for over a year and then the shelf life was 12 months for this product. When I applied it last time, I think it was probably about a few months ago or so, it started like balling up on my skin and I thought it was weird. So I am pretty sure this is an expired product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and de declutter this. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, guys. As you can see, I have this little insert organizer into the drawer and it has three sections. So in this section, I try to keep the formulas there a little bit uh, lighter, kind of uh, like baby creams and just uh, lighter coverage. And in this middle section, I wanted to keep the foundations there like medium to full coverage. So that way, if I'm looking specifically for a specific item, I would just know exactly where to look for it. This other foundation is a by Catrice. It's HD liquid coverage foundation. It is mattifying and it looks like second skin. 
Uh, this is very famous product. It's not new to the market at all. I only picked it up recently, maybe in the past, I don't know, six, eight months. And I've used a good amount of it. This is a glass bottle and it has a dropper. If you're not familiar with it, I'll just show you it has a glass dropper. And this is such a light formula. However, it is matte and it does give you good coverage. It just says whatever the statements are right here. It is all true. Fantastic formula, very affordable product. It's just a staple in my collection. Definitely stay in here. I really like how this is looking. I know now that all these products I love and I'm definitely gonna be using. So let's move on to this uh, middle section right here where I have a medium to full coverage product. And uh, let's start with this Alpha Camo CC Cream. This is a color correcting full coverage natural finish foundation. It has a broad spectrum SPF 30 and it has collagen added, peptides, and niacinamide. Mine is in the shade light 210N. I just want to say that I was chasing this foundation after it was launched probably for just several months. I just got my hands on it in my last Ulta haul. I know there were so many reviews for this product, so I didn't want to do a separate testing and wear test a video on this, but I'm still testing this formula. It is still quite new to my collection and um, I like it so far. It is definitely a full coverage foundation. It's a little bit heavier. I'm not sure how much I will uh, find a use for it in summer months, especially that I live in Florida. You guys know that. As know my preference for foundations, you know that I like medium buildable to full coverage foundations. I still like lighter formulas, but I still love the coverage on my skin because I do have some discoloration concerns and some redness to my skin and some enlarged pores. So I do like a heavier coverage. So definitely like the formula. However, I'm still testing it and probably gonna find a more use out of it in the colder season. This is the foundation that I spoke about in my blogs and my previous videos. I've mentioned it many, many times. This is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. This is a brightening complex. It does have a SPF 20 and this is for all skin types and this is amazing formula. I personally love this so much. My foundation is in the shade LC1, but I also know that the range from LN, which is light neutral, also matches my skin really well. Sometimes I just use a soft tanner and um, that way it just blends a little bit better, but it, uh, that also works for me. Well, the packaging is so pretty. It has a large doe foot applicator. It's a full coverage foundation. It looks beautiful. It literally makes my skin look velvet. This is, I think my third tube overall in the past few years. And I, love the healthy line from uh, Physicians Formula so much. They have my favorite powder foundation as well. And um, I've received a million compliments on my skin. People would ask me what I do because I don't think I've ever received this many compliments on my skin as much as I did with this foundation. And I know that something is going on with this foundation from the brand. I, they may have uh, been thinking to discontinue because it's been hard to see it in stores. I know my local Walmart still has it, but I don't see it in any other retailers around me. Last time I purchased two of these bottles and this is my uh, last one. This is a dupe for Clinique 2-in-1 foundation that has been uh, my favorite for years. And I know people have been comparing this foundation to something else, but uh, to my opinion, it is the exact dupe for Clinique 2-in-1 foundation. This next foundation is Candid Photo Ready foundation by Ria Blonde. It has a natural finish. Mine comes in the shade 110. This is definitely a way too light for me shade. And I also wanted to say that I did not really love this formula. It was okay. It took a little bit of um, work for me. I felt like it wasn't really too natural of a finish. I felt like it was a little bit more on the matte side. And um, I don't know, it was just like a little bit like strange formula. I feel like it was kind of a little bit difficult to blend on my skin. And I usually don't have that issue. I feel like um, I really hydrate my skin with skincare um, before applying any type of foundation. And uh, most foundations work for me un unless they're like really bad. 
for some reason, I had issues with blending this foundation out. As you can see, I tried to use it. There's still quite a good amount of product left there. I'm definitely not going to repurchase it. I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter it as we speak. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this product really quick. This is the CoverGirl and Olay foundation and it has titanium dioxide sunscreen and hyaluronic complex and vitamin C. It has a broad spectrum SPF 28 and it says it's instant a wrinkle defying product. So mine is in the shade 210 Classic Ivory. This is a new product to my collection, but I need to tell you this. I recently just picked it up because there was uh, so much hype about that new uh, Apple foundation from KVD brand and I kind of stumbled upon something I can't remember where I exactly saw it but I saw that this was a dupe for that KVD foundation I was not interested in the KVD uh, brand in general and kind of that foundation was almost $40 so I was not gonna buy it and um, I thought why not to try this cover girl one if it's like an exact dupe because I do like Olay products and I've had a lot of success with um, CoverGirl foundation so I thought this was just a better option for me so I picked it up. The packaging is like this, it opens up here, there's a sponge here and then to get to foundation you actually have to untwist this part and just kind of like a swirl with that Olay cream and the foundation formula. Guys, you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> if you haven't tried it, you probably should go and grab it. It's very affordable. I think it's within like $15, something in, the, in that range. And it is so beautiful on skin. I can't tell you like how much I love this. I applied with a brush, just with a buffing brush. And I don't even have the need to blend it with a sponge. It's amazing. It just low, makes your skin look so nice, hydrated, gives you that like even moisturized coverage. It just looks fantastic on skin. I do need to powder it because it is creamy formula and I do need to set it with a powder, but it wears so beautifully and it just, oh my God, it's fantastic. I can't say enough words about this product, like how come I never knew about it before and it's just, you need this. You need this in your life. Okay guys, so here are a few products left in this section and let's just go to this LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. Um, mine is in the shade CLM352 Natural. I guess it's just natural. I picked this up in a Dollar General. It is very, very affordable. I think it's under $5 and it is full coverage. When I tell you this is a full coverage, you guys, you need to believe me. This is a truly matte foundation and it's a full coverage. I can't repeat it enough. I am just going to repeat it one more time. It's a full coverage. This, oh my God. If you have the biggest bruise on your body, that's purple, blue, red, green, all those colors together, this will hide it. This is a full, 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 full coverage. I this is bulletproof, literally. It's definitely heavy. It definitely looks like you have makeup on. This is not a foundation that you would probably wear on everyday basis. This is wonderful for like photo shoots. Very, very good. It's super affordable. The quality is good. It just, it applies nicely. It blends nicely. I can't believe this is only $5, but it's definitely not an everyday foundation. However, if you do love very, 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 very full coverage foundation that looks makeup-y, then this is it. It's um, definitely staying in my collection. It definitely has a purpose here. Another wonderful foundation is also from Dollar General by Believe Beauty. This is a skin finish foundation. It's medium to full coverage. Mine came in the shade Soft Beige. This is a slightly deeper color than what I normally use. I need to be self-tanned for this color. However, it's, look at this packaging, you guys. This foundation is $5 or $4.99, I believe. I apologize for the packaging being dirty, but um, yes, this is fantastic. It's beautiful packaging. 
The foundation is beautiful. It is also, it's medium to buildable full coverage, very nice formula. I actually used a good amount of it uh, when it was a little bit colder. I picked it up probably about half a year ago. So used it in winter a good amount. It wears really well. I do powder it down a little bit. It does have like that skin finish, but it does look more natural on your skin than say the LA colors. This is just like a bulletproof coverage. This one looks a little bit more natural um, on skin. I love this one. Okay guys, here I have a by Makeup Revolution. This one is a Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It has a medium to full coverage um, foundation and I have mine in the shade F2. And this one is the original foundation. And uh, this is called Conceal and Define. It's full coverage foundation. So I believe this one was uh, the Conceal and Define coverage foundation was uh, launched first and then a Conceal and Hydrate was launched. So this is definitely a little bit more hydrating formula. And um, this is just like a pure like full coverage. I have to say they're both in uh, shade F2, by the way. So the Conceal and Hydrate has a very large doe foot applicator. If you guys can see, this is probably the biggest doe foot applicator I've seen out of all the foundations I've ever had. And the um, Conceal and Hydrate has a pump. And I'm um, sorry, this is extremely dirty, but the first time I actually tried to unscrew it and I was like, oh my God, what is this? How am I supposed to apply it? And then I realized that they, they just, just changed the packaging and you just have to pull it and then there's a pump. You know, Makeup Revolution has a lot of different uh, brands under their umbrella and um, their formula may vary. Sometimes it's inconsistent a little bit, but I have to say that I do love a lot of their complexion products. I love their concealers. I love both of these foundations. I love um, highlighters, I love bronzers. I have to say that I like the Conceal and Hydrate slightly better because it's just a little bit more moisturizing. However, I feel like the coverage is pretty much um, very similar and um, I love how it wears. It's definitely a full coverage. Both of these give you like a really, really nice solid coverage. But uh, yeah, these are definitely staying in my collection. There, there's uh, one more product that's missing and for a reason because I gave it to my sister. I already have ordered it from Ulta and I need to go and pick it up in the store. This is a foundation by Essence, a pretty natural foundation, you guys. I have a whole entire video on um, testing that foundation on camera. I can have that a link for you down below. You guys know that I started my Foundation Friday series. So that is kind of like in progress. Let me know if you would like me to test any of these foundations that you may have been interested in. I know some or most of them are not new. I know I will be doing a Foundation Friday full review on this Outlast foundation very soon. And if you like me to test this on camera, I can also do this in my nearest future. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If um, you like this video, give it a thumb up and uh, hope you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thanks so much for watching and I'm out, I will see you in my next videos. Bye.